Following a week of bizarre onstage rants, Kanye West has been hospitalized for exhaustion with reports he's been placed on psychiatric hold. I've been sent here to give y'all my truth, even at the risk of my own life, even at the risk of my own success, my own career. I've been sent here to give y'all the truth. That's Kanye West going off on a particularly bizarre rant during a concert over the weekend, just days before being hospitalized late yesterday afternoon. Here's what happened. The LAPD responded to a 911 call at the home of West's trainer, Harley Pasternak. The rapper was reportedly there getting checked out by one of his own doctors at the time for severe sleep deprivation. Apparently, someone, possibly the doctor, decided he needed to be admitted and upon arrival, police agreed for the rapper's, quote, own health and safety. He was taken to the UCLA Medical Center where he was treated for stress and exhaustion and police told the Associated Press placed on a psychiatric hold. There are conflicting reports about whether or not West was taken to hospital against his will. TMZ is claiming the rapper did not want to go and was handcuffed as he was transported by ambulance. But People magazine quotes a source saying he went freely. The incident came just hours after West abruptly canceled the rest of his St. Pablo tour, including Canadian dates. It also follows on the heels of a couple of rough months for West and his wife, Kim Kardashian, after she was robbed at gunpoint in Paris. Kardashian was actually supposed to be at a charity event in New York last night, which was meant to be her first public appearance since the Paris heist. But while Kardashian's sisters and mother attended, she rushed to be by her husband's side in hospital. What has he thumbs and pulled up the sky? When you were waddling, yay, hi, this guy. Moana is a bold and progressive take on the Disney princess narrative. The film, which hits theaters tomorrow to coincide with the American Thanksgiving weekend, is set in the Pacific Islands and marks Disney's first attempt at depicting Polynesian characters and folklore. I caught up with one of the experts who helped the studio do it accurately. Tell us a little bit about being able to share your culture and your heritage with all of us through Moana. I'm just really proud to represent my people, the land and the elements. I'm doing it for my ancestors. So you're a choreographer on this movie set and so showing the animators kind of like how the body should be moving properly, yes? Correct. Do you have a favorite movement? I really like a lot of the movements that we'll see with Maui. Speaking of Maui, uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. <laughs> when you use a bird to write with, all tweeting. He's Polynesian, so can he dance? Yes, I think for a lot of us, most of us Polynesians, it's innate. What are you going to try to get me to do here today? Some Polynesian dance movement. So much fun! And it's the world's largest film festival ever! And it's the biggest celebration of Canadian film ever, marking our country's 150th birthday next April. Real Canada announced National Canadian Film Day 150, an event that will see more than 800 screenings across Canada and in Canadian embassies around the world on April 19th, 2017. Terry Hart caught up with some of our biggest filmmaking talents to talk about why this celebration is so important. It's an opportunity absolutely across the country, coast to coast to coast, to tune in to a Canadian movie. It's incredible how many amazing films we've made, and this is an opportunity to kind of express that. Thanks, Terry. As always, get your entertainment news first in the morning right here and anytime on Twitter at Ant City.